Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com. Today is the 31st of December, Tuesday in the UK. It's almost 8 in the morning and this is Bitcoin US dollars technical analysis. So the last technical analysis of 2019. Bitcoin looks like it has made some recovery from the drop, but it's still there. And before I continue, this is only paper trading advice. I never give you any advice different than paper trading because in this channel I will only tell you one version. I will tell you only what I think Bitcoin is going to do. I'm not going to give you the bull and the bear target, but just one target. And therefore, because I can be wrong, I don't want you to risk your money unless you do your own due diligence and you... Uh, you do your, your your due diligence basically, so that's it. If you want to learn how to do paper trading, all you need to do is clicking on the top right corner where there is a video in which I show you how to configure the free version of TradingView. So I will tell you what indicators to use and how to configure it, how to customize the interface and how to start placing orders, changing orders, long orders, short orders, also, I squeeze, because the free version of TradingView doesn't allow you all these indicators, I'll squeeze a, a slot for my candle scanner, which I give for free to you, which is this, the one that tells you reversal patterns. And in fact, it spotted the bear trend of Bitcoin this time. And you can get it for free. For both TradingView, free account, and uh, my candle scanner, you can check the description. There are two links, you need to follow both of them and you will get both things. Now, let's begin. As I said, monthly view Bitcoin looks like it has recovered from the, the drop because it went down in November and then December it's closing more or less without making any lower uh, price than the previous month if we count the low, lower shadows. However, uh, we can see that MACD has made a crossover and quite frankly it's very unlikely today that this crossover will be cancelled because it's the only day today when this crossover can change. So it needs to really rally up if we want this to just bounce, okay? And uh, MAC, uh, RSI though is not yet looking particularly bearish, it's still on, a, on the bullish half of the, of the value because it's above 50, however to me this is a downtrend, a temporary one, because I don't think Bitcoin is bearish at all, but still this is a downtrend, which gives us the opportunity, because if Bitcoin drops to the 55 EMA, it gives us the opportunity to enter again and to make more profit. And as if you, if you have uh, followed me before, you also know that I mentioned the possibility that this is just an A, B, C, correction, meaning that Bitcoin may drop to even lower, even below the 55 EMA, and if it does, it won't even make any crossover, so it can really go to below 2,000, below 1,000, it can go to $200, and still not doing the weekly, the monthly crossover of the moving averages. So, yeah, um, and that's what I'm really hoping it happens to be honest because if you buy bitcoin for 200 dollars and then it goes for the third impulse wave forty thousand dollars that's big money but anyway we, this is only speculations as you can imagine uh, this the short term is that bitcoin is not going to rally above fourteen thousand for a while now let's go to the weekly candle because yesterday we had a new candle and closed this one and it was um, a bear candle however with some encouragement and if you have been following me you know that I said that now I would expect Bitcoin to rally up to 8400 or so dollars possibly more quite frankly I'm not completely sure one thing very important to consider is this uh, we had this uh, bullish pattern here which was now denied uh, the, the 18th of November. So the, the price closed below this, uh, this bullish engulfing, which also is a, a tower bottom. And so it was not confirmed. So in my opinion, now the price will need to drop more. And possibly in this case, we will have the 55 EMA crossover. Well, the 233 EMA will provide support. Again, 
this is more or less the price that we saw in the 55 EMA. And before the crossover occurs, in my opinion, we will see another little reaction from Bitcoin. So it can go up to possibly even $9,000. But this is again a mere spe speculation. This could be it. This could be the top. It may go to maybe 8000 and then drop. Actually, it's much more easy for me to check this by looking at the daily time frame where we have also all the mess enabled now we can see that there is this downtrend the white line sloping line that goes down which is actually a channel here you see these two parallel lines with this dotted line in the, in the middle it's been broken a couple of times the, the most impressive one was this uh, the day Bitcoin went to 10,000 and then it dropped and it for a while, a big while, stayed above it and then it dropped again below it and recently it broke it again but then we had a dark cloud now I was noticing also these two patterns here the piercing pattern here and the engulfing pattern here and if you remember in this time here I was saying if Bitcoin makes a retest then we could possibly have a rally the rally may stop any time, anywhere between the 50% retracement, this blue line, and, uh, well, quite frankly, $7,700. So the $7,700, we have it already, don't it? But now we need to see whether Bitcoin is going to go and break the $7,700 and maybe test the, the 233 MA, which will be about $8,000, or even more, $8,500 here. It could also go higher than that, but just with spikes, I think. I don't think Bitcoin is ready to make another rally. Bitcoin is on a corrective wave now in a bear market. Um, but yeah, if we check MACD and RSI, it's... Um, well, RSI is not very clear, to be honest. One thing that we can see is that the index, uh, the resistance... The, sorry, resistance... Um, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> the relative strength index is... Um, is increasing RSI um, though it's struggling to break the 50 value so it's still under a bearish uh, a bearish half of, of, of things but if we check the difference between this bull pattern and this bull pattern here RSI was much much higher so I would not be surprised if it drops a little more and it makes another rally and it does really this rally here to test the 50% which hasn't been tested yet after the crossover and usually it's an important important uh, area that we may may see retests for and in fact MACD is not bearish it made a crossover it made another crossover after a fake uh, drop and now it looks like it's folding over it again so it may just bounce or cross we don't know this but if we check, the trend is actually up above all these two. So I would tend to believe that yes, we will have, rather than another drop after this retest, we will have a possible rally up to 8,500. 8, now, let me go quickly and see what we can speculate if we check intraday stuff. And intraday, for instance, Bitcoin is now is on a corrective pattern, even though there are many bullish signs. So maybe it will do a bunch of lows always higher than previously sorry uh, these are my alerts which you can get only if you pay for it and they practically tell you when you should enter or not so that you don't have to get crazy and look for stuff so you can see that there was a crossover of the on the 55 EMA and it's making new higher lows so this again to me looks more like a bullish trend right now and the problem is whether Bitcoin will make a crossover of the 233 MA. It's been tested once here at 7700 and now again will be probably retested because we can see several bullish patterns in here. But because I don't have more time, I need to go in the three hours and see what I see in, and, and tell you what I see in here. So still confirm, you can tell that here in the three hours a crossover may occur on MACD. But it will take a while so that six hours corrective way could really take bitcoin down below the 61.8 retracement again so i would expect maybe possibly a retest over the seven thousand dollars before it rallies but definitely it looks like it's about to cross over the 233 ema 
in the three hours. Let me check quickly the hour. The, the crossover has already occurred. This is just a retest. Well, this is time for me, in my opinion, to enter a long position and to hope for a rally that breaks this resistance, quite frankly. But as I said, this is only paper trading and my time is up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think. Like, share and subscribe. If you are in cryptocurrencies, Facebook groups or things like that, just share this video in there. Maybe they will find it interesting. I wish you a happy new year and I will see you tomorrow with another update. Bye bye.